All righty, folks. So I want to cover a couple of stocks here that I'm looking at that I'm liking the setups of, of course, or else I wouldn't be covering them in this video. We're going to cover what I'm going to do with these stocks, why I'm liking them based on the chart. So sit back, relax, take a sip of your coffee. Just kidding. I'm not drinking coffee right now. It's about 7.30 p.m. when I'm filming this video. You guys got to stay hydrated, though. Take a sip of your water. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and let's just dive right into the video. So we're not going to talk about SPY, even though SPY is pulled up right now. We will be doing that in my video tomorrow so make sure to subscribe but we are going to be talking about a couple of stocks here that i'm looking at number one being oops as i just knock over uh my chapstick number one being kroger ticker symbol kr and, and funny thing is um i filmed the video for tomorrow already and i forgot to mention kroger which is why i'm mentioning it in this video because kroger reports earnings this week they report earnings on let me see here they report on when is this what day is this um come on if this wants to work on the first of december which i believe is on uh thursday M make sure to correct me in the comments if i'm wrong on that guys but overall they're reporting on thursday and kroger stock right now looks pretty decent it's not fully breaking out but it is above the moving averages here on the four hour chart and if i zoom in a little bit what we're noticing is an ascending triangle. You guys see that, right? We've been making higher lows since uh, the middle of October. You see that clear as day. And you can see at the same time, we've been making, well, not higher highs because we're seeing clear resistance at about 49 bucks. And if this ascending triangle plays out, well, what's going to happen? We're going to get a leg up above 49, 50 bucks. And this is probably going to start breaking out towards the highs from the beginning of September, middle September, being anywhere from $51, $52, maybe towards the mid 50s, you know, if those levels start to break. So I like Kroger right here. Um, you know, it's not fully breaking out. I mean, don't get it twisted, guys. Clearly still on the four hour. If I just draw, uh, you know, a trend, a trend line, right? You're going to see we're at a lower high. I mean, this could easily be uh, a bull trap on Kroger. There's no doubt about it. But if we're, like I said, starting to, you know, if we start to get upside out of 50 bucks, 52 bucks, we start breaking that high from a couple months ago into the mid 50s. That is where Kroger could really start to reverse. So this is one worth watching because, again, they're reporting earnings. We have the ascending triangle heading into this week. It looks pretty interesting, um, at, at least in my personal opinion. So that's Kroger. The next one here, which I guess we're going to group these two together, there's two in this little part of the video, guys. The airlines. We have ticker symbol LUV, which is Southwest Airlines. Let's pull that up. Uh, this is also an ascending triangle. You guys see that? We have a clear uptrend well not well at this point it's actually breaking out a little bit uh but we have a clear you know clear higher lows being made and we also had a resistance at about 39 keyword is had a resistance because on friday we did start to break out we hit about 39.50 closed above 39 which is good so the ascending triangle on southwest airlines is actually slowly playing out uh playing out and we're actually catching it early and full disclosure i'm not in luv here not yet at least <laughs> uh but you know it's at a point where i'm almost gonna pull the trigger on it right you know if this starts breaking 39 50 40 bucks this could really start to fly mid 40s high 40s you know it's in the cards and if we pull up delta airlines ticker symbol dal this is also one that i'm looking at which you guessed it has an ascending triangle you guys see clear resistance at about 35 bucks and that's stemming back from the middle of August. And at the same time, we're seeing higher lows being made from early October. So, you know, if we start getting above, let's say 35, 36 bucks, well, we're already above 35, but if this starts breaking, let's say 36 bucks, I'm going to put my alert right there. Uh, right now, Mark is that we're above $36 or yep. There we go. Perfect. This could start breaking towards 40, $41. And you can see here back a couple months ago, I mean, not too long ago, Delta Airlines was in the low mid 40s. You know, that's where this could be going, in my humble opinion. And of course, as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you disagree with me, I'd love to know in the comments down below. And if you want some free stocks from Moomoo and from Weeble, all the details are down below. It's free money. It also helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys, as always. So, Visa, I got a comment a couple of days ago. Stas, do an update on Visa. Let's do an update on Visa because it also has an ascending triangle that's playing out. We can see here Visa went up 1% on the last day of trading. And this is one we called out, I believe, before that. And you can see now we're starting to break above 
um, 212. We actually closed above 213, almost $214. So Visa looks like it is playing out. Looks like we're going up towards um, 218, 220, which is what we talked about, and you know, in a previous video. Now we're doing the follow up. You know, this looks like it's playing out beautifully. You know, 220 or you know, 218, 220 um, is where it could be going. If that were to break, maybe towards. 225 230 you know that's where the stock was back in the beginning of april you know middle april that's where it could be going so visa's looking great i'm loving it boeing is another one that i'm watching which is you know at a point where it's like boeing what are you gonna do now you know i'm watching this i'm like boeing what's gonna happen because we can see here clearly we're holding the highs from a couple months ago as support those highs were back from August, you know, 170, 71 bucks roughly. Uh, we held those highs last week. We bounced off the highs. In fact, on Friday, the, st uh, the stock had a 2% green day, very strong day. Um, and, and you can see now we also have an ascending triangle. We have resistance at about 178, 180. If this breaks on Boeing, guys, get ready for a breakout probably towards 190, in my opinion, initially. Then if 190 were to break, maybe towards 195. 197 that's where the stock was back in end of march early april you know this is really starting to break out you know we're above the moving averages again buyers came in here above that 170 high from a few uh from from a few months ago right so uh you know you can't complain here you know if you're looking at the chart now let's just see what happens at 180 that is a very big spot i'm gonna set my alert there right now and we'll see um what ends up going on so that's Boeing ticker symbol BA and the last one if you guys stuck till the end here and I know it's a little little quick video but I had I had an itch to make this video you know ever since I've gotten this setup which I talked about a little bit yesterday um, I've been wanting to pump out videos I'm like a machine right now I'm, I'm making TikToks go follow me on TikTok at Stasser Fez I'm trying to be more active on Twitter. I'm uploading these YouTube videos. I'm making shorts. You know, I'm a freaking animal right now with the content, or at least I feel like I am with this new um, setup. And it's probably going to die down, but, you know, we're still going to pump out the content in the meantime. And, you know, it's it's just nice having a new setup. And hopefully it doesn't die down. You know, it's not it's not going to die down, guys, because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's what we do here, right? So last stock is N phase, ticker symbol, ENPH. We're going to pull that up and talk about it. And then phase is one that I want to cover because guess what? It's kind of been the motto of this video or the theme of this video. We have an ascending triangle on end phase. This is one that I covered in a recent video saying how I do want to own it one day as a long-term investment, potentially if the valuation gets right. But right now, I mean, it's pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, pretty expensive. But if we're looking at the chart, the chart I'd argue looks pretty good, you know, as a trade for a trade. Um, if this starts breaking above 320, 25, which guys look at it, that's pretty much right where we are, um, you know, right now. If we start getting a move past this 325 mark, we're going to be at all time highs. And who the heck knows where we're going to go from there? You know, 350, 75, 400. I mean, who knows? It, it could really go anywhere. It's going to be an uncharted territory. So my alert on end phase is at 325 bucks and with that being said guys i'm gonna wrap the video up quick video tonight i hope you all enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe check out all those links down below the mumu link weeble my patreon check me out on twitter and tiktok at stas or fez and feel free to uh to check out my second channel stas talks money that's linked down below we talk general finance personal finance on that channel not just so much stock market and charts we talk more general finance so make sure to subscribe at Stas Talks Money, linked right down below. I'll see you there. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. I appreciate you all as always. Peace out.